Welcome to iLectures Online and here is an interesting example. You're supposed to find the magnetic field at the very center of a current loop. Now this particular current loop is made up of, cur of wires coiled up very tightly bound in a single little bundle. And there's 20 loops all connected together and a current of 5 amps going through the loops and the diameter or at least the radius of this loop is 10 centimeters. So what's the magnetic field at the center? Well before we find the magnitude let's think about the direction. If you curl your thumb in the direction of the current, now you can see how the current goes around the loop and you put your thumb in the direction of the current, your fingers will curl in the direction of the magnetic field. So there's a magnetic field around this loop so in the center it will into the board, on the outside it will come out of the board. Doesn't matter what part of the loop you look at, if you look at this part right here where the current is in this direction, you can see again, take your thumb, put in the direction of the current and the magnetic field will go into the board, inside the loop and out of the board, outside the loop. So inside the loop, the magnetic field is into the board. All right, now for the magnitude of that. The magnitude of the magnetic field at the center of the loop is equal to mu sub naught divided by 2, then multiply times the strength of the current, I, multiply times the number of loops that you have n divided by the radius of that loop, r. So plug in the values, this is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 teslas times meters per amps, multiply times the current, the current is 5 amps, the number of loops in this case is 20 and we divide that by 2 times the radius which is 10 centimeters converted to meters is 0 0.1 meters. Notice that the amps cancel out, the meters cancel out, you're left with teslas. Uh, this 2 will cancel out with that 4 and now we grab the calculator. So we have 2 e to the 7 minus times pi times 5, times 20, and divided by 0.1. And the magnetic field at the center has a magnitude of 6.28 times 10 to the minus 4 teslas. That's the magnitude of the field. And if we want to write it as a vector quantity, since it's into the board, and if we call that the z direction, we could then say that the magnetic field is equal to a negative 6.28 times 10 to the minus 4 teslas in the z direction and so we can write it like that. And that's how you find the magnetic field at the center of a set of current loops.